this is the day that the Lord has made. So you might as well rejoice and be glad in it. Well, woo, what a day. I mean, yesterday I took on that project of refurn doing, what do you call it? Refurbishing furniture. My first do-it-yourself project. And I tell you, done almost. I still have to do a few little touch-up here and there. But for the most part, it's done. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Woo! But it was hot and sweating outside. And oh, it was just a lot of work. And I'm so glad to be through with that. So the reveal of that will be hopefully today. Maybe today. If it's dry, or maybe tomorrow. So, I hope you're having an awesome, amazing Sunday. S-O-N-D-A-Y. Because this is the day the Lord has made. And God is good, and He is faithful. So, make sure you get your praise on for today. So, let's go. Let's get started with this vlog. And... Have a great, awesome, amazing day. God is so good and faithful. So let's let's go get this vlog started. Yes. Woohoo! I picked up the pieces at a thrift store. I spent $20, $19.99 on the two pieces, which is a good a good deal. The color was a green. So I changed the color to a white and this looks kind of bluish, greenish on, on the um, film, but it's really supposed to be gray. That's what I, that's what I desire. So yeah, that was um, the stripping here to take the gloss off before starting to paint it. And again, I spent total amount on this but the paint included was about $40. On the inside, I, I just was done with painting, so I put um, wallpaper in there, and it's a cute wallpaper. It looks like marble. And yeah, that's the finished project. So don't be intimidated to do it yourself. Get you a um, do-it-yourself project with the grace of the good Lord, hallelujah. I finished it and I'm pleased with that. I know this is a it could be used for something else uh, in terms of in the kitchen or what have you but I chose to use it as a desk and just to put some cute little whatnots in. So yeah you can do that. You can do that. You can change whatever it's meant to be for something that you enjoy and that's what I did and I am pleased with this so hallelujah. And on to Annie's to go get a treat. Yes, an Oreo cheesecake. Yum. Yes, that's the one. get the same this is my favorite probably should venture out to something more the taste it's not like I come here every day it's 
been a while actually. But this cheesecake is so good. Such a cute little shop in there. It has Wi-Fi too. You can put on good on your computer. Mm. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. Not bread alone. Let's look at you. Word of God on every day, too. Mm. This is good. Mm. Let me save the rest for later. But that was good. Any? Any bakery and yogurt. That's what it's called. Okay, let's go. At this moment, I should have said no. I should have said no, thank you. I'm good, that's okay, thank you. But I didn't, I took it and I, oh, I'm so, oh, I, oh. When you are making your gumbo, please, for those who do not like spicy, hot pepper in, your, in their food, do them a favor and not put it in there. Please, I mean, okay, she offered a sample of gumbo. I took the sample of gumbo, and I'm telling you, my mama's gumbo tastes a whole lot better. I ain't gonna even say my gumbo, even though my gumbo is like, you know, taught from the best. We include my mom is the best. So, my sisters and I, our gumbo is like on point because of my mom's recipe. Now, this gumbo very hot in terms of pepper it was very chalky <clears throat> it wasn't smooth in taste it was on a scale of one to ten and I'm not being negative or shady I'm just saying if you ask someone hey let me give you a sample of, would you like a sample of gumbo then you then we have a right to 
overrated. This gumbo was, in my opinion, a five on a scale of one to 10, meaning 10 being highest. Couldn't taste the flavor for the chalky whatever and the pepper. I don't like being critical, but it's just my opinion. Anyway, now I'm in the mood to fix the gumbo. Not this weekend, maybe next week. <sighs> yeah, girl, you gonna have to make your mama gumbo. You are gonna have to make your mama a gumbo. I'm in the taste. I'm in the mood for a gumbo. Cause she set me up. She set me up for this gumbo. And this, I'm talking about my oldest daughter. Come on with the gumbo. Come on with the gumbo. And my daughter's gumbo off the chain. Her gumbo tastes better than my gumbo. I'm just saying. So. You're gonna cook a gumbo let it be like a real good gumbo otherwise don't even try it don't don't try it just mm -mm. don't don't try it